is Zach. Welcome to the channel. So I have this Squire Classic Vibe Jag here that I bought as a project piece. And uh, it has a malfunctioning tone control here in the, in the neck pickup. This isn't wired like a typical Jag. So these switches are not doing anything. They're totally disconnected. I have a volume control for the neck pickup, a volume control for the bridge, and up here are neck tone and bridge tone with a selector switch. Basically a less Paul, but just single coils. And the issue I'm having is this tone for the neck is malfunctioning. When you roll it on, no change until it sh just shorts out completely. It's dead. So, all I'm going to do is replace the pot and the cap and see if that helps. So here all I'm doing is laying down a scrap sheet of paper to catch any solder splatter that might land on the fretboard or the strings or the body. Here, just disassembling the control knobs, taking the little thumb wheels off, trimming, trimming off that ground wire and making it ready to solder, or solder if you're not American, I believe. So here I'm using the Crimson Guitars fret leveling file to scrape away any residue and grease and sticky stuff from the factory that will prevent the solder from sticking to the pot casing. And now just tinning the end of the wire so it sticks in the solder puddle. The new pot is a little too large to fit in that little hole there, so I marked it in blue sharpie to be drilled out just a little bit. And I just glued it onto a piece of MDF and took some bites out of it on the drill press. And uh, it popped right off that MDF, and now I'm using a leveling beam just to clean it up. Doesn't have to be perfect, it's going to be inside the guitar.
it made short work of that super glue stuck on the back. I put the pots in the vise, just very gently to secure them. They don't move while I'm working on them. And this solder is going on surprisingly well. It's never this easy. Those caps are from a uh, Fender pots I got at Guitar Center. They just they came with the pots. I don't know what values they are. And the new tone is a 250k, and the old one for the bridge is still a 1 meg since it's a Jaguar. And I had to put some tape on the little mounting plate to give it some cushion, otherwise the thumb wheels were going too far through the little holes and um, basically just getting stuck, couldn't turn them. They were binding up on the metal plate. And this wire is actually a little bit too thick for that little terminal on the pot. So uh, it's being a little stubborn. And those are just some extensions I soldered on to the pickup wire to make it easier to work. And one last addition to the guitar, I'm removing the factory string tree and putting on a Floyd Rose style bar, string bar, string tree, whatever you want to call it. I'm just kind of eyeballing it roughly in the center so each string has enough space on the ends. I mark it with a little dot and then I use an awl to put a tiny hole in to guide the drill bit. Awls are very useful, very useful. There was really no need to put this on a drill press, um, it would be awkward to hold, so this is just much easier. I wish I had a manual hand drill, like an egg beater style drill or a, or a bit brace for this kind of work. 
even these battery drills are, I think, too powerful for delicate drilling. And then threading the screws in so they have something to bite into um, before I put the strings on. And it's done. So here it is. It's all finished. The tone on the neck is working as it should, although the taper on this capacitor, maybe the pot too, is not something I would have chosen. You get most of the effect near the end of the of the taper. So there it's all the way on. It's quite dark and thuddy. Then it clears up a little bit, a little bit, until most of the taper is actually nothing. Yeah, it's like almost all or nothing basically. So at a later date, I will be experimenting with different caps and pop values and tapers and all that stuff. So stay tuned for that if you're interested. The tuner bar is working well. Um, it may not have been totally necessary because it was staying in tune fine as it was. I just, I like them. They keep everything tidy at the neck and all the strings at the same level. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you found this entertaining and informative in some way. And uh, click the like button, comment, whatever you're supposed to do to help the algorithm. Thanks.